624 on Daybreak. We're celebrating Western New York and the final week of Black History Month. Daybreak's Lauren Hall checked in with some local black owned businesses about the wave of support they've received throughout the pandemic. And she joins us now with the story of how one woman's unique products have brought her so much success that she's now able to expand. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. This woman's business is based around a product that can help you relax and bring good energy into your home. And she's met so much success this year that she will be opening her first storefront on Hurdle Avenue next month. Her name is Courtney Nelson Benton, and she is the owner of L. James Decor. She launched it three years ago, and she's known for her homemade floral, floral stage sticks, as well as wreaths and other decor items. Courtney started off at artisan markets and festivals before landing on the shelves of the Lexington Co-op. With many of those shopping events canceled in the last year because of the pandemic, she's now working on getting her first shop on Hurdle Avenue ready to open to serve her customers in March. I grew my business that way, and so a lot of my customers were used to seeing me at these different festivals, all these different markets, especially in the summer and over the holidays. But with nothing like that happening right now, maybe on a small scale, but I really wanted to get back out there. Courtney also plans to use her shop as a resource for other minority female owned businesses through mentoring and pop up events. You can follow along with the opening of her shop as she gets it ready in that grand opening date by following her on social media, which we'll have linked with this story on WGRZ.com. And while you're there, you can also check out another female black owned business that we featured this morning on Daybreak, Carrie's Cafe on the west side of Buffalo, and the special promotion they have going on for Black History Month as well. For now, reporting live in Buffalo, Lauren Hall, Channel. Channel 2 News.